sprinkle a drop of sweet dew. Less desire and more contentment. By Master Shi Cheng Yen. Dot do not worry that you may be less capable than others. Think about how you can get along with and help others. This is the way to lead a contented, happy life. The things in this world are for us to use. Those who are never content lack wisdom and thus are used by the things in this world. Demanding things always brings brain. If we keep demanding from others, we will gain nothing but countless worries. We should be content and happy with what we have. Be thrifty, so that you can share with others. There are many people in the world who need our help. We should give what we have, money or time. In this way we can perform countless meritorious deeds. If we can reduce our desires, then we will have nothing left to worry about. When someone always dresses plainly and neatly and keeps himself well-groomed, we can conclude that he lives a sincere life. On the other hand, when someone likes to show off his luxurious new clothes, we can be sure that he is a vain person who is filled with endless material desires. Some people's desires can never be satisfied. When they have something, they still want more. If a person feels content with what he has, he lives in stability and happiness. Unbridled lust and passion are a source of human suffering. Contentment is the only solution for this. Contentment will make one's life happy and peaceful. A content person finds comfort anywhere, whereas a discontent person complains even in paradise. There is little difference between a wealthy but discontent person and a poor person. A poor but content person is spiritually wealthy. A content person will do what he can, even if it is only a little, to offer his love for others. The smile of a patient is the most beautiful and touching. It is like the warm sunshine after a thunderstorm. It comforts those around him as family, friends, doctors, and nurses.